Cape Town initially opposed implementing the Group Areas Act passed in 1950, and residential areas in the city remained unsegregated until the first group areas were declared in the city in 1957. When Cape Town finally started implementing the Group Areas Act, it did so more severely than any other major city. By the mid-1980s, it had become one of the most segregated cities in South Africa. Plans to build Kyelicha were first announced by Dr. Piet Kornhoff in 1983, then Minister of Cooperation and Development. By 1985, the suburb Site C had 30,000 people. Kyelicha was one of the apartheid regime's final attempts to enforce the Group Areas Act and was seen as the solution to two problems the rapidly growing number of migrants from the Eastern Cape and overcrowding in other Cape Town townships. The discrimination and black population control by the apartheid government did not prevent black people from settling in the outskirts of Cape Town. After the scrapping of past laws in 1987, many black people, mainly Josas, moved into areas around Cape Town in search of work. By then, many black people had already illegally settled in townships like Nyanga and Crossroads. In 1983 and 1984, conditions in squatter camps like Crossroads and KTC worsened and exacerbated by official policing policy in which homes were destroyed and the emergence of the Witdoika, led by Mayor Johnson Nksobongwana. The Witdoik were actively supported by the apartheid government in its fight against the ANC-aligned UDF, which had actively opposed plans for people to be moved to the new township of Kayalitsha. As the black population grew, the apartheid regime sought to solve the problem by establishing new black neighborhoods. Kayalitsha was established in 1985, and large numbers of people were forcefully relocated there, mostly peacefully, but occasionally with violence. The Western Cape was a preference area for the local colored population, and a system called influx control was in place to restrict Chosas from traveling from the Trans-K by requiring a permit. After the historic 1994 elections, hundreds of thousands moved to urban areas in search of work, education, or both. Many of them erected shacks made of tin, wood, and cardboard 